Ruth Aspie, and this is what you need to know about catatonia and autism. If you're working with someone who has both catatonia and autism, one thing that will increase the symptoms of catatonia, or maybe even set them off in the first place, is stress. Some of the stressors to watch for are changes in the person's living situation, um, if the family moves to a new home, if there is a uh, divorce, if there's a marriage in the close family, um, if uh, there is a loss in opportunity to participate in something that was important to that student or individual, if, they, if you see illness or hormonal changes, um, a change in routines in that individual's life. Any of those things can cause stress. Things that are stressful for anyone, like tests. For some folks with catatonia and autism, a test can be the thing that brings on those symptoms of catatonia. So one of the best things that you can do in, for an individual who is dealing with catatonia and autism is to provide them a lot of routine and a lot of structure and to make sure that they can count on those routines to help them to get through their day.